we've just come back from the launch of the C40. No, not the Poco C40. It too has a giant battery, but it's also got four wheels, two electric motors, and more than 400 horsepower. Yes, we're talking about the Volvo C40. Here's everything you need to know. Wait, before we continue with the video, I have an important announcement to make. Surgeon Chow is hiring! We are looking for driven, like-minded individuals to join our growing team. But wait, you might be wondering, why would I want to work here? Well, let me show you. You get access to incredible studios like this and all of this cool equipment. Hey, I'm trying to work here, can you get out of here? What the? We even offer a grooming allowance. Yeah? No? Okay. Even coffee from our local Kopitiam. Thanks, Cherry. So, are you interested? Hit the link below to see what positions we have available. The C40 is priced at 288,888 ringgit, making it 10,000 ringgit more expensive than the XC40. You probably want to know the difference between the two cars and the answer to that is they are basically the same thing. I mean, it's a coupe version of the XC40. As if an SUV can become a coupe, coupe has two doors and SUV has five doors. You know what I mean. It's an XC40 start to look like a BMW X6. You know, the one with the sloping roof. That means it has a lower roof and that means there's less headroom especially for the rear passengers. It is, however, quite a bit sleeker than the XC40, with details such as the slim taillights and twin spoilers that help reduce aerodynamic lift. Inside, everything below about shoulder level has been carried over from the XC40, right down to the 9-inch portrait touchscreen. It too uses an Android-based interface and comes with Google services such as Google Maps and the Play Store. Apple CarPlay is also supported and it blasts music through a 14-speaker Harman Kardon sound system. What is new is a panoramic glass roof. Unfortunately, it doesn't open and it also doesn't come with a sunshade, so you're at the mercy of Malaysia's blazing sunlight. Another cool feature is the dashboard and door trim, which looks like a contour map. As standard, the C40 comes with keyless entry, dual-zone automatic aircon, powered seats, a 360-degree camera, four USB-C ports, a Qi wireless charger, and a hands-free powered tailgate. Like the XC40, the C40 doesn't have a starter button, so you can simply get in and drive off. What about safety? Well, this is a Volvo, so of course, the C40 comes with all the features you expect, such as autonomous emergency braking, adaptive cruise control, and lane centering assist, enabling level 2 semi-autonomous driving. In terms of interior space, the C40 comes with a lot less headroom at the back, thanks to the lower roofline. You do get the same amount of legroom, and just like the XC40, there's a massive center tunnel for the middle passenger to straddle. Boot space is the same at 413 liters, and you can still get built-in shopping bag hooks on the boot floor. There's also a front boot in which you can store 31 liters of stuff. As you can imagine, the mechanicals are completely identical to the XC40. It's all-wheel drive, it has one motor on each end, and together they make 402 horsepower and 660 newton meters of torque. Because the C40 is very slightly lighter than the XC40, it's actually quicker, getting from 0 to 100 km an hour in 4.7 seconds. The top speed, like all other Volvos these days, is limited to 180 km per hour. Like the XC40, the C40 comes with a 78 kilowatt hour battery. Unlike the XC40, it's more aerodynamic, which means it has a slightly longer range. It can travel up to 450 kilometers on a single charge. Speaking of charging, the C40 can be charged at the DC fast charger at up to 150 kilowatts. That's enough to bring the battery from 10 to 80% in 28 minutes. At home, you can plug your C40 to an AC wall box charger at up to 11 kilowatts, taking eight hours for a full charge. So that's all you need to know about the Volvo C40. It's exactly like an XC40, but it's a little bit sleeker and a little bit sportier. So if you like the XC40, this is a very good alternative. If you want to get an idea of how it drives, you can watch our review of the XC40 Recharge Twin, which is basically the same car. You can click on it over here. Over to you now. 
what do you think of the price and the specs of the C40? Let us know in the comments down below. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and ring the notifications bell icon so you don't miss any of our future videos. As always, stay awesome. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.